the Lord Jehovah Adonai. He has spoken at me. Jehovah Elohim, the God of Israel, the God of heaven, the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, he has spoken at me today about a tremendous earthquake that is coming. And the Lord took me to that country. It's a white country. It's a developed country in the white. It's a white country. And I see one, probably one black person there. There are many. The Lord presents to me one that the, that the black people are rare there. And it's a white, predominantly white country, a developed country. And the Lord takes me to the church and he shows me the abomination that's happening inside the house of the Lord. And then after that, the Lord commands me to bring judgment to that nation. And immediately I did so, I saw a massive earthquake hit that land. A big, I see a big building that has wobbled. I see tubes, pipes of the building have wobbled on the surface. The pipes that are lining the surface there, I think those are drainage pipes. And the Lord asked me to bring judgment to the land because of the fall in the church. It is a white country. The Lord sent me to that country this past night. He took me today. And uh, he took me to that country. It's a developed country. It's full of mostly white people. And then the church has this abomination going on in morality. And uh, the church has the fall of apostasy. And, uh, and then the Lord showed me one. I see one black man going in there. Uh, for service, and that country has the United Nations. I see the, 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 I think that black man works for the United Nations. So it has the United Nations uh, heads, maybe head offices, or some offices there. And so, then I see a massive earthquake that uh, hits that country upon my decree of the judgment of the Lord in that country. Now, the Bible talks to us very clearly that there will be famines and earthquakes in various places before the coming of the Messiah in Matthew 24, verse 7. But now that the Lord has sent his messenger unto you, now we have a greater understanding, you have a greater understanding, that these earthquakes are actually tied to repentance and the preparing of the way to the coming of the Messiah. So the Lord is again trumpeting repentance in the house of the Lord, in the church, at the pulpit that the pastors may repent. Because in that church I see on the wall there is a structure, a wooden structure that is slanting from the roof, slanting down as a decoration, I guess. And it was it's a good wall, like an open coffin or something, coming down. I see quite a lot more detail. And the United Nations is in that country, it's a developed country, it's a white country, and the Lord has commanded me to shake that country, to strike that country, and I lifted up my left prophetic hand, and a massive earthquake struck the country, I see buildings wobbled, I see the pipes of the buildings by the side of the buildings that have wobbled, pipes and tubes, I think they're drainage pipes, and all this, maybe air conditioning also, but uh, this really greatly speaks the hour we are in the hour of zero compromise to sin, the hour when Jesus must now have his way. The Messiah is coming. Prepare the way. Turn away from sin, beloved people. Turn away from wickedness and evil. Return to righteousness and holiness. We well understand in the Bible that the Lord set a benchmark unto himself and for the church in the Bible. And in that setting of the benchmark, he said in Hebrews chapter 12, verse 14, that make every effort to live in peace with all men and to be holy. And he said, for without holiness, no man shall see the Lord. No one will see the Lord. So surely only holiness will be the standard for entry into the kingdom of God. I have seen the Messiah coming. I have seen the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ, the Messiah. And this is the voice of one that is crying out in the wilderness to the nations of the earth to prepare for the coming of the Messiah. This is he about whom the scripture mentioned, the scripture wrote when God the Father promised 
Christ Jesus the Messiah, when he said, I will send my messenger ahead of you that will prepare your way before the great day of the Lord. May the Lord bless you. Shalom to the Arabah. Thank you.